Right, oh, folks, back out again. Another little midweek session. Uh, just going to go behind my local Sea Life Centre down in South Sea. Got an invite from Jamie and Alfie. So, yeah, just going to do a few hours and see what happens. Got some bait left over, and why not? Why not have a little midweek session? So, let's get going. They're already fishing. See what they've caught, eh? Well, welcome back, folks. I'm just going to uh, quickly show you what rig I'm using. So, uh, Gemini uh, Breakaway. I've got crab cart with squid for the bait. Using the Trident Rauto with a Trident Pulley uh, rig set up. All linked in with Termalinks. Hopefully you can see this. I don't know if you can actually, but hopefully you can. But and what I've done with mine on top of the actual pulley, so I don't know if you can see. I'll try and focus it in. I've just put a swivel at the top, just to sort of stop the line spinning up, and some casting out sort of thing. So uh, I'm using braid with um, tapered shock leader sort of thing. So I just want to try and stop all that spinning up that sometimes happens. Anyway, let's get it fired out there and see what happens. It's absolutely a cracker of a night. No wind at all. Ray country and tide country for the race. Get a lot of walkers again, but it's worth going for it. And it's really dark here, so you've got to be really careful that you, when you're casting, you don't actually hook someone before you cast because you just can't see them. Let's get out there. First one out. Right, let's get the second rod set up. And uh, on the second rod, I'm going to uh, do basically uh, two it clip down. Just going to chuck a little bit of ragworm that I got left over from the other evening. And uh, I've got a bit of squid as well, so I should chop that up. And no doubt it will be a bit of a ting fest, no doubt. But hey ho, bit of fun. We're out here, enjoying ourselves. Right, while well, I set this up. I'll bring you back when there's some action, eh? Well, I'll beat the blank. A little dogger! First fish on crab cart and squid. Check out my uh, video on crab cart and squid wraps. I'll, I'll put it in the description, actually. I'll put it in the description. Anyway, it's not a blank. He's trying to curl up and get away here. Anyway, good old dogger. Always does the business, doesn't it? Anyway, let's get it back. The tings are out in force again. There's bite every second almost. I don't know if you can see that on the left hand side. It's, it's beating up and down. I've given it a, a good go out there. I've even tried to have a go at hooking it. But it ain't happening. But they're certainly nibbling it to death, that's for sure. I'll leave it out for a little bit and see if we can uh, then hook it. But Yes, left hand rod, squid and car, right hand rod, ragworm. 
actually having a good go at it. Anyway, let's have an overgo see if we can actually catch this fish. Well, folks, finally got it in the end. Little dogger, only a stinky little thing, but we got it. Anyway, let's get it back. Fight another day. Happy days! Well, Jamie's uh, got himself a fish. What you got there? Ah, uh, a ting. Everyone's favourite. Everyone's favourite. There we go. Well done. Anyway, speech to blank. That's the main thing. That's the main thing. And Alfie there, he's got a dogger. Thought it was a ray, but it don't matter. He's, he's, he's a little bit inexperienced. <laughs> I'm only joking. He's top boy, top angler, that one. You don't like to say it too much, do you, mate? That you're a top angler. Top angler. Anyway, we're all not blanking. That's the main thing. We're enjoying ourselves. And there's the Sea Life Centre. Not that you can see a lot. Anyway, back to it. Well, both rods are going at the moment. Jamie and Delphi, they've had a few uh, whiting. I've not had one yet. I've had plenty of whiting bites, but I've not had the whiting yet. So I'm going to see if I can get a whiting. Believe it or not, I am going to try for a whiting. I oh, know, I must be mad, but they're tinging on the old bites. So why not? Why not try and grab one? Right, I'm holding the rod and see if I can grab one now. Get one hooked. Not looking promising, I think I've missed them. You soon know when your bait's gone because the bites stop and my bite and the bites have stopped. I bet they've stripped me out. We'll see what happens though, I'll leave it for a few minutes. I think that's it. I think I've missed it. My real up. See what comes of it. It's not looking promising though. Not looking promising. But you never know. Nope. Pretty much stripped the bait. A bit of, there's a little bit left. And the top hook. Oh, there's a fair bit of worm on the top hook. But anyway, let's get baited up and get back out of here.
So Jamie's banging out the old white in. He's doing a really good job of it at the moment. Not bad size. A bit bigger than the normal stamp we've been having, isn't it? Not too bad. Yeah. Some of these we can make a pie. Very nice. Fish pie. <laughs> happy fish days. Pie. <laughs> happy days for and fish pie. And it's not even Saturday night. Right, let me go and show you his secret sauce for his bait. Bear with me. Let me show you. His secret sauce for catching all these lovely things. There we go. That's the secret sauce. Holy mackerel. Yeah, you can say that again. There it is, sea fishing. Ting bait sauce even. So that's what he's using. I'm glad we're not match fishing tonight with Jamie around because he's absolutely annihilating at us on the old fishing front. I've got two dogs. How many tings do you reckon you've had now? Uh, I think I've had four tings and a couple of nice dogs. Four tings and a couple of nice dogs. Alf, what you had? <laughs> anyway, beautiful evening. You got another rattle? There we go, look at that. Double shot of rattles. On the secret sauce. Hey, look at that, look at that. Happy days, isn't it? Happy days. Here you Here we go. Is that a better size? You reckon it's a dogger? Another dogger. The secret sauce is getting the doggers as well. Well, it's getting towards the end of the session. Probably got about another hour left. And uh, it's been all right, it's been all right. We've had a, had a few whiting. I'm not showing them to you. Um, has anyone seen a whiting, pretty much? Um, a few dogs, again, plenty of those. Um, no other species yet though, and between me, Jamie and Alfie, again, just sort of tings and dogs, but it's been some action, that's the main thing, it's been some action, so about an hour to go, something like that, and uh, it would be nice to get a different species, but let's see what happens, but it's, it's been an alright night, it's been alright, I've enjoyed myself, which is the main thing. And it's been a non-stop boaty action. And there's plenty to see out here. Plenty of boats going by and things going on. So, uh, yeah. Hopefully a uh, new species, please. to make a real difference to the night. I've got a cod bait out, actually. This is what I've really got out there. I've got squid and lug. It would be absolutely back of the net if I'll catch a cod, or codling, I should say. It would be fantastic. They're still getting them up the Solent on the boat, so why not if they be off the shore? You never know, do you? You never know what's going to turn up. Anyway, let's see what happens, eh? 
Well, that's it, folks. End of the night. So, uh, a really enjoyable night, actually. Plenty of fish, plenty of bites. Uh, mainly ducks and uh, tings. No other species caught between all three of us. But, yeah, really enjoyable. Really enjoy it. Good, good laugh for the boys and uh, cracked a few jokes and what have you and had a bit, plenty of banter. And uh, so that's it. Till next time. And tight lines, everyone. Get out there. Go on, get out there midweek. It's great. It's absolutely great, especially when you get evenings like this. Don't forget, subscribe, hit the bell button for see my up and coming releases. Uh, plenty get to be watched and seen in the future. And uh, yeah, that's it. Done.